Monday dot com versus Asana versus ClickUp versus Trello. Which one is better to use for the productivity in 2023? Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to compare these four platforms that I have listed. The one first one for us is Monday, then we have ClickUp and then Asana and Trello as a project management tool and which one is better and which one does have more productivity. What features does each platform hold? So let's get into the video. So I'm going to do a comparison one by one. First, I'm going to show you Monday, then uh, the others. And I'm going to show you the price ranges of these platforms as well. And in the end, we We'll do an overall comparison of all of these platforms so let's get started so first one a platform that i have right now with me is monday.com for the ease of this video and for to quickly tell you all the details i have already logged in so uh just for the notice the login or signing a process for each of these platforms is very easy you just have to provide your email and then you have to provide a password and then you can simply just log in after confirming and basically in the email that they sent to your account so after uh, basically successfully logging in you have got into this home page which of monday so monday.com is an amazing platform and it holds a lot of features and here you can see that this is a sidebar it has all of these tools that you can use first one is the work management tool then you have notifications you have an inbox you get a my work list you have favorites then you can invite members you can search for anything and then you have this uh you know from here you can see all these settings and here you can ask for help so i'm just going to go on to the work management really quickly when it comes to monday so in work management you basically create different kind of workspaces so workspaces are uh, you can create different workspaces for different projects or for different management teams like for example if you run a company you can have a main workspace of the sales team then you have a main workspace of the creative heads then you have a main workspace of you know the marketing team etc so these are basically what you're gonna make as uh you know your workspaces after you're done your workspace this is my main workspace what i i can do is i can add different stuff to my workspace workspace first of all i can add a new board new document new dashboard i can choose from different templates what i want to add i i can import data from different other to uh, platforms as well for example excel files i can add google sheets i can add uh, you i can insert data from asana from trello basecamp zendesk jira jira server etc then you have other apps that you can integrate into your monday.com as well and these are these are the apps that you can integrate and you can explore the app marketplace for them and you can also add new form as well so let's say i'm going to add a I'm going to choose from a template because uh, I just started working it. I don't know what exactly uh, what to exactly add on to the monday.com workspace or something. So I'm just going to use a template. So you have different uh, templates for each of the tasks. For example, you have a marketing template. You have content production, project management, documents, freelancers, design software. Whatever you want to do, whatever your work is, you can basically select a template according to that. I'm uh, basically... Uh, I'm comparing all of these platforms in regard of project management. So I'm just going to add a project management template on my monday.com. So here you can see that this is a multi-project. This is agile project management and you have a couple of other uh, templates as well. Client onboarding, risk register, single project, Jira issues overview, pro basic project management. So let's say I want to add a basic pro project management or let's say advanced project management template onto my server, onto my workspace. I'm just going to click on add template and it is creating my template, setting up my automations and then I'll start to, uh, I'll start editing my template. Okay, so now here you can see that this is the main template that it has added and I can add uh, different things into it. I can uh, remove whatever I want. First of all, this is the main table. You can see that this is the planning table and I have tasks here, then the owner of the tasks, then the collaborations. I have the status of the tasks, then I have a duration, I have a timeline and I have a dependent on, uh, I have a planned effort, actual effort cost. So these are all the uh, columns that have been added into this table. Then I have an execution table here. All the same uh, columns have been added and then there is a closure table and all of the same 
uh, columns have been added to the closure table as well as you can see then uh, here you can see that if I want to add a new task I can just click on this option of new task and a new task has been added in the asserted um, table that I was working on and I can just name the task whatever I want I can edit everything that it already has like for example you can see the timeline 63 days overview I can set the dates myself I can remove and I can add anything that I want then I can add different persons filter by person I can filter the tasks by person I don't have any contacts in my mindy.com so that's why it's not showing then I can change the main table into a Gantt chart I can have a project report from this option right here and overdue tasks the one that haven't been completed yet will appear here so here you can see that in the Gantt chart you basically see a uh, very good a very good representation of all the tasks that have been happening and what is the due date for them when are they going to happen and what is the timeline of each of the tasks so it is a very good representation then you have a project report uh, how the projects are going uh, how many of them are completed is there something that is being stuck incomplete task the completed task process everything is going to be reported here so it is a very basic uh, take on the project management from monday.com there are a lot of other features that you can use and it is going it is very professional so let's uh, move on to the monday.com pricing so the first plan is you can have use monday.com from free as well then you have a basic plan which has eight dollars standard for ten dollars pro for 16 and an enterprise version as well so as you can see money.com is available for free and i was using a free version right now so it is good to go the next platform that i have for you is clickup clickup is also a project management platform and here you can see that you have a you know sidebar and here you have home you have notifications you have pulse goals and you have spaces so as we have created workspace in monday here it is called spaces so let's Say i want to create a new space uh, and i'm going to enter the space name as project management or something anything you can add it okay so uh, first of all you can uh, create a new template uh, by yourself you can add different colors different names you can select different avatars whatever i'm just going to use a template here as well because uh, we are comparing templates it is easier and it is much faster so i'm just going to search a template for project management here you can see that this is the project management template that i want to use and here it is flexible it is pre-built we use custom status okay use this template okay so import options a uh, customize import option product dates import as is i'm just going to import it as it is and i'm going to see how it's going to work for me so i'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds until my space is created okay so here you can see that this is the click up and uh you have different phase one strategy you can see the different tasks right here then you have a phase two which is design and there are some different tasks in it as well and the to do tasks are here and then you have a phase three development so everything is so elaborative but it is a little bit you know it is open and elaborative as compared to money.com here you can see that you have hired brilliant engineers is it assigned due date priority and everything is here and you can add a column to this as well you can add a drop down text date number checkbox whatever you want you can show or hide any columns that are already there then you have your in progress and ready and the status of the task is already written there now if you want to create a board of it you can just move on to the board view and here you can see that it is going to create a board and all the to-do tasks are going to be here in progress ready complete so it is a very easy way that you can basically manage all of these and you can quick look on whatever you want to see like to do the progress radiant complete then you have a view uh you can add a different view as well for example i want to add a gantt chart of whatever is going on I'm just going to click on add and here you can see that my all of the information that already is there is going to be appear in the gantt chart form here you can see that project management and everything is going to be here so the basic gist is that it is also very easy to use everything is editable you can make it completely up uh, as your own or you can add different kind of templates depending on the tasks that you want to complete so it is a very good take on project management as well talking about the pricing uh clickup is not available for completely free the least plan that you can get is for five dollars the business one is for twelve dollars business plus is nineteen dollars and enterprise version you can ask for the pricing so the plan basically includes the features are there but uh, you have to pay five dollars each month for all using all of these features and there's no free plan available moving on the next platform that we have is asana 
Okay, so this is the home page of Asana. From here, you can see you have your home, your tasks, inbox, reporting, portfolios, goals, and you can invite your teammates from this option right here. And here you're going to have all of your workspaces. And the first one that I have is hiring. Okay, so this is the home page. You can customize the home page from this option and you have a create a project. You can I already have a project which is called hiring. My tasks are gonna be here. You have all of these widgets that you can add to your home page to take a you know brief look on whatever is happening onto your uh you know on your workspace so i'm just going to click on this option which says create a project and here you can you want to use a template import spreadsheet or blank project obviously i'm going to use a template because it is a project management and i've been using templates for the other two as well so let's see uh what templates we have got here cross-functional project plan meeting agenda event planning we have a stand-up meeting asana basics training okay ticket tracking i have okay so i'm just going to use this cross-functional project plan because this is the project management template that they have and i'm going to use the template and i'm going to show you what are the options available i'm just going to click on create project okay so here you can see that this is the cross-functional project plan the planning uh, milestones new steps sorry next steps and comms plan so these are all the basic uh, you know tasks that have been added uh, projects that have been uh, added into this cross-functional project plan and now you can add different kind of tasks into this for example if i want to add a task i will just click on this option write the task name for example test then i have to assign it to the member like for example i assign it to myself then i need to add a due date of the task for example i want it on 19th then i have to add the priority of the task is it high medium or low let's say it's medium and if you want to add more columns or more fields you can just you have to upgrade to premium because that is not option available uh, on asana to add more columns into this so you have a list and you have a board uh, for example, you have the board view of all this information, planning, milestones, next steps, comms plan. Then you have a timeline view. You get a calendar view. You get a workflow. You have a dashboard, messages, etc. So these are all the things that are available on Asana homepage. You can customize it from this option as well. And you can basically choose what you want. Try custom fields for free. Try uh, time your work. You have field. You have rules. You have apps. You have forms. And then you have task templates. So these are all the things that you can add on to your workspace. So this is a cross-functional project management thing that uh, project management template that we have used. This is the homepage of the template. What's the status? new joint project created no due dates are available key sources project rules are add different kind of members and the project owner but you can add different kind of members that will be doing different kind of work for the people like you can add a creative member you can add a sales representative etc whatever project management an engineer or different kind of people that you want to add onto your list so this is the main of asana okay so if you want to see the pricing of the asana let's go on to that so the premium plan that is available for 10.99 dollars then you have a business plan which is for 24.99 dollars and then you have an enterprise plan there is no free plan available for asana as well and it, there is a free plan actually that you can keep using asana but it is very very minimal and you can see that there are a lot of restrictions to all of those asana there are a lot of restrictions to those plans. Then you have the last of the platform that we are basically looking on is the Trello. The Trello have the Trello is very simple as compared to all of these different platforms that we have just seen. It has workspaces, it has recent start, and you have templates. So I'm just gonna go on and start a template. I'll start using a template for project management. One on one meeting agenda. Let's say I want a project management template. I'm just gonna click on that. And then I'm going to create one. The board title is project management. Visibility is private. I'm going to click on create. Okay, so here you can see that this is the main template of the project management on Trello. It looks very good. It looks promising. So first we have project resources, questions for next meeting. The to-do list is here. Then you have your pending. You have the blocked, uh, all of the, you know, things that get blocked are going to here. Then you have your done projects here. And if you want to add another list, you can just click on this option that uh, you can name it anything that you want. So here you can see that if you want to change the board view, uh, for example, I want to need some custom view. Uh, all of these other are basically blocked because these are only available for the priced version and i'm using a free version right now the here you can see that you have boards you have members you can add different kind of members to your workspace by you can invite them by email or you can create a link and you can send it to them so they can join directly your workspace then you have your workspace settings you can upgrade your workspace then you can go to the settings then you have a table and you also have a calendar so uh, here you have a power up you have automation then you can also filter and you can also share your 
you're bored with other people as well. So this is a very simple uh, take on project management when you're using Trello for small businesses for the people who want to uh, use project management for their personal uses uh, is a very good Trello is a very good option. And if you see the pricing of the Trello, wait a second. Okay, so there is a free version of Trello available. The standard one is for $5, premium for $10, enterprise for $17.50. So uh, if you compare all of these platforms in pricing wise, then the Trello is the most economical one. But if you also compare them the like the features with the pricing, then I guess the Monday.com has it all. It gives you a lot of different features and it also has a free plan. Other than that, uh, Asana and ClickUp, they don't have free plans. They ask basically they have the priced versions and they don't even give you a lot of you know so many features as compared to monday.com and uh, if you basically go for a simple project management tool then trello is your best fix so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you